Okay, let's take a look at what we have now. We have, uh, this is our world so far. We can't move around, so that's fine. Um, now, after we have the load world, uh, when the user connects, so after they, the world is loaded, what should we do? And something natural is uh, to have a player uh, join the world. So we'll do that. We'll create a variable, um, create player, uh, and it'll be a function. And when we call it, a player is added to our world. So our player will be um, like a just a mesh. So to have that, we need our cube the geometry and the material so I'm going to copy and paste this so again this is on github so um, to access there. So we have the geometry, the mesh, and we can uh, the data dot size x, data dot size y. Uh, we're going to pass the function some value or some um, some object uh, called data. and it's just making it more modular rather than just giving hard values right now. You can also set the player position. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And when we create the player, we can also um, Add the player to our objects. Dot push array and add them to the scene. Okay, that's pretty good right now. So after where where do we call that function? Um, So this is where our um, socket.io really comes in handy because um, you we can just uh, upon a request from the server we can make the client um, do something. So here we'll uh, we came from here and we're in the HTML file now. We can listen to uh, the server, and if it emits a certain message, then we can respond to that. So in this case, if the server um, calls this create player um, function, then this is this will be uh, our callback. This will be uh, what we run. So here we'll create player. So this this function is uh, this function. So when are we going to create the player? Uh, so we'll do that. We want to do that when the uh, person connects to our server. So here's where we're detecting connection. And so we want to write that code here. So socket dot emit create player player. No 
we actually don't have our player yet. So uh, we don't have the player data yet. So we need to get that from uh, the server. So if we pull up our server world script, we can create a function play, uh, player. It's sort of uh, like an object. Um, we can assign. We can assign the properties. Player ID. Uh, players dot length. Players dot length will be an array that holds uh, the players on the, that are connected to uh, the server. So there it is. And we give this object all of these properties. Its x position. We'll set it to one right now. We could set it to zero. That's fine. We can set it to the origin. But yeah, no buts. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the rest of this. This is the rotation x. Uh, so the rotation around the x-axis. This is rotation around the y, uh, the size x. Uh, so this will be like the scale um, in each of those directions. This will be the speed and the turn speed. These are just default values for every player. So by making our code more modular, uh, we can easily change that, um, or even pull it from a database. So that's our player. Uh, we need to create him. Uh, actually, this is this is in Node uh, termed an a module. It, it's not a core module, but, but um, to to use it in other to use it in the app.js, we need to export it. So module.exports. Dot, let's say um, create player equals uh, player. something different player all right um, sorry about that um, actually we're not going to do this uh, we do need the module dot exports though so instead we're gonna make it add player uh, here we're going to create a function that will allow us to add a player to uh, our server so I'm just gonna copy and paste this Okay, and we'll call it the function, the, the variable there. We're not calling the function. So this will allow us to export this um, this module here. So we can call this function outside of this uh, script. And so remove player will also take that. I guess I should explain it a little bit. Um, So add player, we're creating a player object uh, here, and by default it's going to have uh, players.length as an ID, so it's just the length of this array. Um, so if no one's in there, it's going to be length zero, and so the first player will have uh, zero ID, and then the next will have one, two, and so on. And then here we're setting the player ID to a new ID, which will be um, an ID handed to us from the server. Uh, we'll, we can make that happen soon. And then we're pushing the new player to our player's array. So that increases the length of the array also. And for remove player, uh, we're just getting the index of the player. and uh, we're spli splicing them. Um, okay. Go ahead and take uh, update player data as well. <laughs> uh, 
and player for ID. I guess I'll just explain it and copy and paste. Yeah, this code is on GitHub, and I feel like that's a, a easier way uh, for this to be accessible. And I'll just explain it rather than typing it out. Okay, we have that. Okay, so for update player data, uh, we're taking in um, the data that the server will hand us. We'll, we'll write that soon. Um, actually, I feel like it's better if I did it in here. So for update player data, We'll take the um, the data that is handed to us from um, our server. This is basically our server script. Um, so we have that here somewhere. So here, um, So this will update um, the player information. It'll take uh, data, and uh, this is basically the same object as player. Um, so that's why it's like a mirror image right here. And it'll return uh, the player. And for player for ID, we're just going to get an ID, and we're going to figure out what player it is. Uh, okay. Now. So we have, we're calling the client uh, create player function to, um, and it'll it'll uh, create a player, but we actually need to create a player before that. So first we're going to get an ID, the socket ID, that's fine. Um, world dot add player, and we'll use the ID. We'll send it the ID. Um, and then we're going to create the player. And I'll go ahead and take this. So, um, world dot player for ID. Uh, we actually don't have world yet, so let's go ahead and add that up here. Uh, wor world is going to be the mo module here. So, for uh, for Node.js, uh, you have modules and core modules. Uh, for core modules, you don't need to have um, like a dot before the um, so like here express HTTP. These are core modules. Whereas for like, side modules, I guess I don't know. Um, we need that dot and then the extension. Uh, so server world. Uh, but I don't think we need the JS. So I'm going to leave that out. So, yeah, so now we can use this. Uh, we can use the modules that are exported uh, from, sorry, from here. From server world. Okay, now that we have that, I think I'll get on the next tutorial. Will um, I, I don't know. Let's figure that out later. <laughs> okay.